Once upon a time, deep in a lush forest, there lived a clever antelope. He spent his days grazing on the fruits that fell from the trees, enjoying the bounty nature provided. Among all the trees, one became his favorite, offering the sweetest fruits. But danger lurked nearby. A hunter, known for his cunning ways, also frequented this part of the forest. He would place tempting fruits beneath the tree and wait, hidden in the branches above, with the rope trap set to capture any unsuspecting animal. One early morning, the antelope made his way to his favorite tree, hoping to find some tasty treats. However, as he approached, he noticed something unusual. A pile of ripe fruits lay untouched at the base of the tree. He found it odd that no other animals had eaten them yet. This made the antelope suspicious. The hunter, who had been watching the antelope from afar, grew nervous. He saw the antelope hesitating and feared that his trap might fail. Desperate to lure the antelope closer, the hunter began throwing fruits toward him, hoping to entice him into the trap. But the antelope was no fool. He knew that fruits fall straight down from trees, not sideways. Realizing that something was amiss, he carefully examined the tree and spotted the hunter hiding among the branches. Pretending not to notice, the antelope spoke aloud, as if talking to the tree. Oh, oh you fruit tree, you used to let your fruits fall straight to the ground, but today, you're throwing them at me. This isn't how a tree behaves. Since you've changed your ways, I will change mine too. From now on, I'll seek fruits from a tree that acts like a tree. The hunter, realizing his mistake, grew angry and shouted, you may have escaped this time, clever antelope, but I'll catch you next time. The antelope, hearing the hunter's outburst, replied calmly, not only are you acting like a hunter, but you're also revealing your foolishness. We antelopes are wiser than you think. We live peacefully, eating fruits and harming no one. But you, who live by killing, bring harm upon yourself, both in this life and the next. With that, the antelope bounded away into the thick forest, leaving the frustrated hunter behind. The moral of the story is, the wise stay innocent.